let's give it a little gas so it's already rolling. We've seen what happened. George, we got the tri power. Let's uh, give him some give him some tri power action. That was pretty good, George. Yeah, that was pretty good. Not too bad. Just gonna scrape the tires a little bit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and we've got a great day for you, our good friend George Hansen, and a phenomenal car with, I'm gonna say, the best interior ever. You can determine if I'm right, I'm wrong, please leave that in the comments. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts. George, what did we bring today? Well, today it's a 1959 Pontiac Bonneville convertible. It's a tri-power car, which is a little bit unusual. Also, it has air conditioning, which is nice. really quite unusual for a 59, especially with the tri-power. And uh, it, it's, I, I just feel so fortunate to have been able to, to find it. I've always wanted one of these, and uh, it came along, and I was able to buy it. So Dreams come true. Dreams come this true. is a top-of-the-line Pontiac Bonneville. So let's go right to our featured attraction. George, come right alongside me for a second, and we will feature the wide track and as we get to the trunk and treats it'll describe all of that for you but this is when Pontiac pushed the wheels out to the ends of the car and we have on this one what's considered a beak on this car as you can see that. I just want to let you meditate on some of that chrome because in 59 well especially the Bonneville that's what you feature so you've got that beak like nose there these wonderful, I'm going to call them fender spears, and this wonderful design cue right up the hood. Notice you've got the sport mirror and the regular mirror. The front of the car is relatively flat, as you can see. And let's take a look from the side. I'm going to end with that interior that I've bragged on. I just want to let you meditate on that for a second. And obviously this one's a convertible. So we're going to show you what the top looks like going down. And there's the top down. And we're back. And let's take a look at some of the styling cues here. Now, right off the bat, not only do you have this arrow-like nose that goes all the way down the side and curves around to the fender skirt, then these big prominent pieces here, and then the wonderful Bonneville. And we will turn this around for you so you can see that in the sun. And again, I'll end with the interior, but even these little cues here, they didn't have to put that in there. This, I'm glad they put in there, which is the tri-power, which is going to tell you about the engine. But look at the wraparound window. <laughs> this is just great. George, can we open up the hood for him and show him what we've got under here? We've put it in the sun so that you can enjoy it. the bat we come to our engine and so clean lots of room up here and as George shared we have the air conditioning unit from the time period look at all of the piping that goes into there our heater and the all-important 389 Super Duty Tri Power, which means we have three carburetors under there. Which, if I get a little lower, ah, you can't really see all of those. George, can we just open that top part of that and right. just show them the, the Tri Power? Yeah. Because I think that's kind of a cool feature to that. Does the top of it open up? Well, this will open yeah, up. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. And that is how that plays out. Okay, while George puts that all back together, I'll feature some of the other pieces here. For example, 
this piece right here telling you all of the details of this vehicle. Thank you, George. We did that nice and conveniently. Even the tag on the radiator. And it's just glorious. So, George, while we've got this one up front, why don't we start it? I'll go to the back. We'll step on the brakes for a moment. We'll give it a, a rev, and then we'll turn it around for him. So clean. Look at even like... <laughs> I'm going to listen to it idle, and then we'll give it a good rev. So go ahead, listen to it. You've got dual exhaust, as you can see. And again, I'll turn it around for you so you get a better view of that. George, can you step on the brakes for a second? And just because we've got such cool reverse lights, can you put it in reverse for a moment? That's cool, how they have that up there like that. All right, George, let's put it back in uh, park. Go ahead, give me a rev, would you please? Let's hear that tripod. One more good one. <laughs> Absolutely delightful. Well, we're going to turn this one around for you and show you the rear end and the sun. So we're back in the back. And this one has some interesting fins because back in the time frame, they were called rain gutters. And as I approached them, well, you could see why. They would capture the rain, bring it down the gutter, and out the back. And just the amount of chrome. Let's take a moment. We have chrome on the fins. We have chrome around the trim of the word Pontiac in the center. We have chrome around the taillights. The bumper is solidly chromed. Chrome around the reverse light. And let me just give you that view, because <laughs> that is outstanding. And while I step back here for just a moment, I do want to show you this. As you get closer, you may wonder, where does your gas go? It goes right there in your A and your C on Pontiac. And as I step back, well, George, has some wonderful trunk and treats. So here's our trunk and treats of this car. And we'll start with the jack and the jack storage instructions. By the way, look at the size of this trunk. It's just massive. You could actually fit a person, probably smaller person, sitting there. But here's where your jack is. Here's where your tire and the cover is, but lots of room. And this is the actual car here that you're seeing, including the interior. And she's just beaming, sharing the car as they come back from the boating trip. So I just want to let you focus on the details there. And then here is what I'm going to claim as the best interior, which you're going to see. And you can be the judge of that. You get the solid quality of Body by Fisher exclusively your wide track wheels. And then we have our 59 brochure. And we'll open that up gently. And we'll show you the best of all ideas and it exclusively talks about the wide track and this here talking about your finish the greatest V8 and then there's actually the Bonneville and you can see the convertible information The last word of beauty in action with exclusive Bonneville Luxury Touch. And just the neat little stars in that. This one talks about the sports coupe. We had the Star Chief. I'll 
pause on that so you could see those details. A little difference in the styling in the interior there. This is our chief four door, obviously. The Catalina series. The Bonneville being the top of the line. Again, you could see the difference in the interiors. Simply and beautifully built. The Catalina Vista. You're seeing the interior get a little more simplistic. The Safari, which is the wagon. I'll let you read that if you like. From the industry's hottest engineer team, Cross America's number one road car. So there's the Bonneville, with a beautiful background. You're super hydromatic. Talking about how the body's built. Completely new engines. The most modern in the industry. And then wrapping up our specifications. chassis and your body construction and that wraps up and we're back well I said it's the best interior this is up for you to decide I think this interior and even the color combination and we've put it in the Sun for you I'll call it saving the best for last this is amazing George, what are your thoughts on this? I know you've won some awards on the interior. I, I just feel so lucky to have it. It's a work of art as far as I'm concerned. But just the dashboard alone, if you look at all the detail in the dashboard, uh, the chrome, uh, the padding, even the steering wheel, the Pontiac green in the, in the center of the steering wheel. So it just seems like a lot, of, a lot of effort went into styling. Even the, if you look, you can see there's sparkles, which is why I put it there, in there. And look at the seats. And this color combination. I mean, the little chrome strips here, your star. I mean, just fantastic from an interior standpoint. Everything's so well done. The word Bonneville on the speaker. You have the window. Even these little reflectors here. And I'll take my time going through the interior for you. Let me do this too. Let me just show you from this angle. You notice even the... I forget what you call those. Armrests. Even the armrests are chrome. And how they're sticking out and not stuck to the to it. I mean, just all of the work. George, how long have you had this car? Uh, since 2016. 2016. You mentioned it was a dream car for you to own. Congratulations on your dream. Um, we'll take this one for a ride, and we'll talk a little bit about the reaction at that point. It's interesting too they have the word safeguard right there. That's, um, you can set the speedometer and if, uh, to whatever speed you like and if you go over that you'll get a, 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 a buzzing sound that tells yeah. you you're going too fast. I see you have it nicely set at uh, 85 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Now remember, Sorry, George, understand. we're always doing the legal speed limit on my car story with Lou, so if that buzz goes by, we may be in trouble. Yeah. There's the top button. But even, you know, you've got the Pontiac 
you know, opening here, how it opens here. You know, this opens up to your, your dash. This wonderful grab bar. There's your air conditioning. You have the little lights down there, which I'll feature. The word Bonneville. Just, just tremendous. Just tremendous. Well, George, let's uh, do what we do best. Let's take this one for a ride, and we'll we'll talk more. How's that sound? Great. Well, we're here in George's 59 Tri-Power Bonneville. And, George, I have to say, it sounds great. All three carbs are running smoothly. How do you feel driving this? It's a really nice car to drive. You can't beat a big car. The long wheelbase, it rides really well. It's, it's very smooth. Um, What's You know, you mentioned that this was a dream car for you when you were a kid. How did it feel when you finally got it? Well, it was really a dream come true, because I remember when the Pontiac 59s first came out and there was a picture of them in the paper. Yeah. And I just really latched on to that, and uh, to, to be able to buy one uh, 50, 60 years later is uh, really a treat. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And again, I, I consider this car, I think, the greatest interior of any car. So George, I'm going to give him a little bit of this ride with us because it's just a wonderful day and show him a little bit of that wide track stance. Oh, well, that's just wonderful. That's just great. What a relax you. So smooth, right? Very, you know, you can't beat a long wheelbase car. The bigger they are, the better they ride. Yeah, and this one is just it's just a heavy boat. It's heavy and it's got a long wheel base and it's got comfortable seats. It's... Yeah, a great cruising car. Yeah, just a wonderful time. So much fun. You, you could, go ahead. You could cruise in this all day long and uh, not get bored, not get tired. <laughs> Maybe we will. <laughs> Maybe we will. We run out of gas before. <laughs> yeah, we'll run out of gas. It's about uh, six miles to the gallon. Yeah. The highway. Uh, yeah, on the highway. Exactly. Such a wonderful car. Want to go straight or? We can we'll go this way. George, what a wonderful time. Always great hanging with you. My thanks, pleasure. Thanks so Thank much you. for being on my car store. Thank you. I appreciate it. My pleasure.